Okay. So I'm curious too. So obviously uh, we're still all imperfect. You still, you know, there, you're going to make failures in the future. When you come across something that's discouraging, how do you work th- through that now? What, what do you do to, to work through those feelings? Yeah. Um, so typically I, I look at, you know, it's all about mindset and how do you change your mindset? Yeah. And so one of my tricks is that, especially when I'm feeling discouraged or negative, I realize I'm telling myself a story <laughs> and usually my stories are, you know, wrong, um, at least parts of them, sometimes completely wrong. But what I do is I try to tell myself, like, what are like three alternative stories than the one that you're telling yourself? And that helps me get out of that. Like, I just know that this is what's going to happen. I just know that this is why this person did this. And when you force yourself to consider other possibilities than the one that the one that you think is true, um, it helps you be more open and, and to, to, you know, to what are those other possibilities might be. So that's one of my tricks. Um, and then if I'm ever feeling really discouraged, I go exercise, Yeah. <laughs> um, like I, I run a mountain bike ride, you know, a good workout at a gym. Like it is amazing what just some endorphins do to help, you know, help that help you clear it and give you a little bit more perspective. So those are like my, my two tips Two. Yeah. what are three alternative stories? And then just go for a run. <laughs> I love the story one and I've done the exercise and I think that's great advice too, but I'm really drawn to the story one. Cause I don't think I've ever had anyone talk to me about telling yeah. yourself different stories because obviously there's power in a story. And I think what we can do is just get fixated on one, but I've never thought about telling myself four or three or four different stories. That's it's, really, I'm going to use that going forward. It is an amazing, amazing trip tool. Yeah. Um, and so for me, I like to write them down, right? It helps with the the brain, you know, to yeah. say, I'm just going to write down three different alternatives than this really negative thing that I'm telling myself. And um, yeah, and it really, it helps me. You know, I, I'm a big believer that just because you think it doesn't mean it's true. Yeah. <laughs> and, um, and, and obviously like m- much of society is moving away from, uh, that type of thinking, but it's a really important aspect of mental maturity and ambidextrous thinking is that y- you have to consider that there can be two truths, um, at yeah. the same time. And that the way that you believe something to be doesn't make it the truth. So yeah. I really try to challenge myself with that. And when I'm in a negative spot and I'm sure this, that it's this way, boy, if you write those three different, um, alternative, uh, stories, you start to see that there's a million, a million different ways that something can play out or, yeah that people are feeling or, you know, what action actually happens. So it's, it's a really good exercise. 